The Army says it's tough to recruit when your dress blues look a lot like the Marine or Air Force uniforms. The solution? Turn back the clock. Here's David Martin. The old guard is getting a new uniform. In addition to his dress blues, Lieutenant Colonel J. Todd Burroughs is being fitted for something in an olive green. I'm pretty happy with the trousers. Good. That's a good thing. What do you like about it? I'm a big fan of the uniforms of that, you know, of the greatest generation. I never saw anything look so wonderful in my whole life. The uniform you see in World War II movies is exactly what Army Chief of Staff Mark Milley told Annette LaFleur he wanted her to design. He told me how much that he admired the uniform, that it was a great time in our history, and then he wanted to bring back that esprit de corps. So basically, this is a golden oldie. Yes. I think there's a definite need for us to, to change our uniform. Sergeant Major of the Army Dan Daly has become the chief model for the new uniform. And a touchdown! Wearing it to see and be seen events like the Army-Navy game. In the commercial world, this would be rebranding. We absolutely are. It will be several years before every soldier is wearing it, but the new uniform is coming, like it or not. This is, after all, the Army. And Staff Sergeant Catherine Gerheiser didn't get a vote. Did you feel like you needed another uniform? Am I supposed to answer this honestly? Um, yeah. If somebody thinks we need another uniform, then, you know, we need another uniform. Station, attention, carry on. The new uniform is being phased in, starting with Army recruiters in New England. I'm looking good in that uniform, thanks. Under the command of Lieutenant Colonel Ronald Anzalone. It's what we grew up on hearing stories about. It's iconic. If clothes make the man, a uniform identifies him. And the blue ones just didn't say Army. I get a couple questions, are you an airline pilot? You know, is this, is this Air Force or Navy? I was like, no, I'm Army. Nobody understands the importance of a distinctive look better than the brander. Make that commander in chief. In the Army, we're even getting new uniforms and those beautiful new uniforms. With the belt, it was a big deal, the belt. This is actually what was worn in World War II, and that's why the belt's here. You gotta admit, like it looks pretty sharp. Uh, it's it's, it's kind of good to turn some heads again. Just like his grandfather did in 1942. David Martin, CBS News, Natick, Massachusetts.